Uh, my name is Michael Field from TA Field Estates Proprietary Limited. Uh, we're one of the larger wool growers in Australia. Uh, the company's been in business for over 100 years and I'm the fourth generation to be running it. We run a flock at Wyvern Station in the River Enna near Carathool of approximately 22,000 breeding ewes and at Jugiong Benangaroo we run a flock of about 8,500 breeding ewes. We've been on Hazeldean blood since 1999 when we had a trial at Wyvern then where there were five mobs of 800 ewes with a control mob, Hazeldean and three other bloodlines. The progeny from those lambs, from those ewes, were independently assessed for fleece weight, fibrometer, body weight, culling percentage uh, and basically just culls across the board and at the end of the day Hazeldean gave us the most profitability per hectare by far. The average flock of the, the Wyvern uh, flock is now about 19 and a half across 23,000 breeding ewes and our fleece weights we're cutting about, I don't know, six and a half to seven kilos unskirted. When we shore the lambs in February this year with seven months growth on them, they cut nearly four kilos, but the whole lot averaged between 16 and a half to 17 micron. The, the fibre I'm here at Benangaroo is probably about 20, 21 and we're now down to about 18. Uh, and it's been over a very quick time change that our fibre diameters have dropped. Fleece weights have, have, have picked up a little bit uh, and body weights haven't, haven't changed a great deal. We get our rams from Hazelin under a contract basis and I'm really happy with that program. We get the best of both worlds, the, the top genetics in Australia and with the Hazelin influence as we use the fibre production uh, index. We enter the Peter Westblade uh, weather trial at Tamora every year with a team from both Benangaroo and Wyvern. Wyvern came 16th in the Wool Challenge. Benangaroo actually won the Wool Challenge, which I'm delighted, it's a fantastic result. Hazeline have done exactly what we want them to do with our sheep, I'm absolutely delighted with them. Uh, my name's Andrew Vizard and I'm uh, with the McKinnon Project at the University of Melbourne. Uh, the McKinnon Project is a con commercial consultancy arm of the University of Melbourne that provides uh, advice and consultancy service to uh, many sheep and beef farmers throughout Australia, conducts research and also uh, does training for the agricultural industries throughout Australia. For many years Hazeldean has been at the forefront of sheep genetics in Australia and worldwide. Uh, I can say with some authority that uh, Hazeldean were probably one of the first to embrace uh, the modern techniques of genetics and to utilise them for accurate selection of sheep. And the other thing that Hazeldean have got a huge track record in is in actually their breeding objective which was always and still continues to be to make sure they're breeding sheep which are highly productive, highly profitable for the commercial producer. And I think as a result of that many years of selecting for that breeding objective and, and using the most progressive selection methods you can, uh, we now sit with Hazeldean being a very important genetic resource for Australian sheep uh, uh, producers who want and need highly productive commercial uh, sheep that can produce uh, in commercial situations and be profitable in commercial situations. And the many trials that the McKinnon tr uh, have done on uh, many uh, uh, types of sheep have shown that always Hazeldean uh, come out uh, as being uh, amongst the most profitable and productive sheep under commercial situations. So I think uh, for any uh, sheep producer in Australia who is interested in productive commercial sheep, uh, they should be interested in Hazeldean sheep. Uh, my name is Tony Hill, I live at uh, Springvale Cootamundra. Uh, we have a mixed uh, farm of uh, cropping operation of, and uh, sheep and cattle. Traditionally we used to run a big crossbred operation and we've changed to Merino as we've grown in size. Um, we first went to Hazeldean in 1988 and we've been there ever since. Uh, we I'm always looking at other studs to compare them with Hazeldean. Um, 
I just can't find anyone better at this uh, for consistency, quality and uh, man, uh, for, uh, for RAM selection numbers. Uh, when we buy, we usually buy 20 odd nearly a year. They're, uh, they're even as a pot of peas in quality and type. Uh, I entered the last uh, Peter Westblades trial. Uh, we topped the meat section and then we came second in the wool section. The Weber's cut uh, 7.4 kilos of 19.2 micron. Our ewes are good sheep, they're very big, they're very productive. They cut seven kilos plus, and we, this year we did 113% lambing and over, a bit over 100% in our maidens. So, and I'm constantly really watching weather trials and Hazelina are just going forward all the time because they've got a big number of sheep to work with and they can change their direction quickly and go forward. Fleece weight is going up. The micron is dropping, uh, they're becoming a, an easy care sheep, they're becoming plainer uh, and in our, in our operation in the sheep wheat zone, it's just fantastic. My name's Andrew King, I'm the General Manager of Romani Pastoral Company. This company covers country up in the Liverpool Plains and around the Harden Cootamundra area. Our sheep enterprise is one of the major enterprises with this company. Uh, the Merino enterprise, we also have a, uh, a meat lamb enterprise, but the Merino enterprise on the Cootamundra properties and uh, Harden area are, uh, are some of the major ones. With the, uh, we, we utilise Hazeldean sheep for our commercial, uh, our commercial sheep. We buy Hazeldean rams and I have been since 1991-92. The reason we uh, use Hazeldean is back in, in those years we decided to do a, a, uh, a test right through from 91-92 we took, took them for two years because we realised if we only did it for one year we wouldn't see the full outcome. In that time um, we decided to look at everything. Uh, we recorded how many uh, sheep were fly blown within each group uh, the groups were quite large. We had a thousand ewes in each group, so that's quite a substantial trial. Um, and we took everything through from micron um, uh, fibre diameter. We went, went to uh, yield and uh, and fleece weight, and we also took took into account body weight of weathers to uh, sell. We found over that time that we were about between three and five dollars ahead of the other two breeds and we were basically just went objectively straight off that information and went with Hazel Dean from then on. Coming to Romani uh, five years ago I was lucky enough uh, to have taken over from a, the previous general manager who had also done similar trials and he was on the same program. So I've continued with Hazel Dean now right from those earlier years and uh, some of the main reasons we, we've stuck with them is that uh, we find that it's probably the only, the only line that we've come across that we've been able to uh, reduce the diameter right down to 18 microns as an average of the flock, you know, taking into account obviously the younger sheep are around 16 um, and the older the older ones move out to 20, but the average just a touch over 18 microns. And we've also found that the, the our U weights have increased by the selection of uh, careful classing on the tip that we want to uh, have here and on the just the bulk of wool that we want. We've gone for wool cutters, we haven't gone for pretty wool, um, and uh, we've utilised a classer right right through the same classer and we're now at a stage that I classed, uh, we classed last week and we're not throwing any wool out that's uh, discoloured, uh, any sheep out that have got discoloured wool and we're, we've, uh, we, we're amazed that we're at that stage where we can have everything nice white bright wool.
Uh, I find with the hazeldean rams, um, the main thing that we've noticed is uh, the wool production. Um, we've gone from sort of our main line of wool, uh, cutting the five kilo fleeces, to now in some of our some of our sheep, um, we're cutting up to eight kilos. So in ten years, there's a um, an increase of three kilos per head. Um, also, um, the finer end of the um, line is our weaner wool. Um, we used to have weaner wool which was going around 16 micron. Uh, we, this year we had a super line um, go into Melbourne sale at 14.9. Uh, so we've just increased um, or decreased the micron um, out of sight in 10 years, so I'm um, very pleased about that. And also topped the market in the Melbourne sale when we sold, so um, just goes to show that the Hazeldean Rams are definitely doing the job as far as wool production goes. Uh, Fertility is another thing. Uh, we find the Hazeldean Rams uh, so fertile, which um, sort of then carries on to the ewes. We have up to you know, most years uh, up to 100%, some years uh, are over, we've had up to 115% lambing. Hello, I'm Richard Cannon, manager of Hazeldane Riverina. The annual Hazeldane Riverina Merino Ram Sale will be held at 1pm on Thursday the 17th of October at Rosevale Hay. This year's sale will see some of the best rams we have produced to date go up for grabs. Once again we are proud to offer rams which have stylish looks but the data and breeding values behind them that ensures they will increase productivity in the flocks they enter.